Now, in this question, then, we've got to expand 1 plus kx all to the power 6 in ascending powers of x. And to do this, what we need is the binomial expansion formula, which I've written out up here for you. You should know that if you've got a plus b to the power m, where n is a positive integer, and we have, we've got n is the 6 here, then this is identical to nc0, a to the power n, b to the 0, plus nc1, a to the n minus 1, b to the 1, and so on. Okay? You'll find the ncr button on your calculator. So when I compare this to what we've got up here, you can see that the a is the 1, the b is kx, and as I said earlier, n is the power 6. So what we've got to do then is to just simply use the formula. So what we've got is nc0, so in this particular example it's going to be 6c0, a to the power n, a is the 1, so that's 1 to the power 6, and b to the power 0, b is the kx. Okay, so put the kx all to the power 0. Make sure you write these terms in brackets, especially this kx, okay? Well, that's the first term, and then we go on to the second term. So we have 6c1, reduce the power of a by 1, so that's now eight, um, 1 to the power 5, and then we increase this by 1, so we get kx to the power 1. That's the second term done. Third term, 6c2, drop the power on this term by 1, so it's now down to 4, increase the other term by one extra power, so it's kx now up to the power 2. Notice by the way how your powers always total the power that you got here. Okay, so 5 and 1, 6, 4 and 2, 6 and so on. Okay, we've got another term to do, so plus 6c3, then we got 1 to the power 3, and then kx all to the power 3. And don't forget, even though it says to write it as far as this, make sure you put plus and so on on the end. So what you've got to do now is just simply work out all these terms. And 6c0, if you do it on the calculator, is 1. 1 to the power 6 is 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So the first term is simply 1. For the next term, 6c1 is 6. 1 to the 5 is 1. So you've got 6 times simply kx, so that's plus 6kx. As for the next term, 6c2 is 15. You've got 1 here, and kx all squared. So you've got to be careful there, that's going to be 15, and then k squared, x squared. All right. This term here, 6c3, turns out to be 20. So you've got plus 20 and you have got 1 cubed, which is 1, and this one is going to be k cubed, x cubed, so 20 k cubed, x cubed. And again, don't forget to write plus and so on. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.